June 18, 2018. Madam Clerk, will you lead us in the prayer and the pledge of allegiance? state 
which would take a lot longer than it would to just be able to build on town roads. And um, it was recommended by uh, the town administrator to change it to village signs. Um, so the villages in North Hempfield that I have identified are Branch Village, Forestdale, Park Square, Primrose, Slatersville, Union Village, and Waterford. So our goal is to build two signs for two villages. We will work with the town to figure out what villages we want to build signs for. Um, the benefits of my project, it will show off our villages. Uh, it will let people know when they are in a village of North Hempfield and it's aesthetically pleasing. Um, so potential people that need to that need to be contacted, um, Jeff McCarry, who made our prototype design in CAD, um, he cut our prototypes with a laser cutter, and, and he will cut our full size signs with a CNC router, and we have met with him already. Um, we need to contact Dennis Levate, and he will be a material supplier, and we have also met and talked with him. Um, we need to contact Gary Azolski. He was a town administrator, and we've also met with him. Um, Tom Kravitz, who's the town planner. Uh, Carrie Anderson, who's the building official. Graham Pendergast, who's the director of public works. Stephen Reynolds, who's the chief of police. Um, Dig Safe, uh, Garden Club, which would be if we decide to put the signs in the state of Park. And the town council, to get your blessing and to sign our beneficiary. Um, so our project layout, or our time frame, so first we have to talk with people that were mentioned in the last slide, which would be approximately 20 man hours. Uh, two, we have to prepare the land for the signs, which would be approximately 15 to 20 man hours. Three, we would have to CNC cut the signs, which would be approximately like 12 man hours. Um, and then four, there's two options. So if Mr. Mr. Kendergast can dig the holes um, for the sign posts, then we will only have to bring the material on site, plant the post, um, we have to put it on the same plate, which cutting may be necessary. Uh, we need to attach the signs to the post. Um, we're not sure how we're going to attach them to the sign to the post yet, but because we need the material first to see how it is and like how it feels. Um, we need to level the sign. We need to fill the hole with cement, and that will be approximately 20 man hours. Um, if Mr. Mr. Pendergast cannot dig the holes, then we would have to dig the holes and then do all of the other stuff mentioned in the last part. And that would be approximately 25 man hours. So materials needed, so we have four options. So for the first one, we need a 4 by 8 by 3 fourths piece color four sign board. Um, we need a pressure treated 4 by 4 by 8 foot uh, posts. Um, we need 4x4 four by, four by 9 foot vinyl sleeve. We need a post cap. And we need 12 bags of quick cream. Um, each bag can fill approximately a 1x1 one one foot square. And water will be supplied for the concrete. Um, for option 2, it would be the same sign board. Um, we'd have, for our post, it would be 4x4 four by, four by 10 foot posts. And then we'd have the 4x4 four by nine foot um, vinyl sleeve, and then the cap and the, the quick creep. So option three, it would be the same sign, um, but it would be a pressure treated six by six by eight foot post. Um, we need a six by six by nine foot vinyl sleeve, and then the six by six uh, cap and the quick creep. And then for the final option, it would be the, the sign board, the six and then a six by six by ten foot pressure treated post, and then we need the six by six by nine vinyl sleeve, the six by six cap, and the foot grip. Um, so for our tools, we need a square for hand tools. We need a square tape measure, a level, a shovel, a hoe, a rake, a post hole digger, ratchet, sockets, and wrenches, pruners, a wheelbarrow, and water for the foot grip. Um, for our power tools, we need a chop saw, a circular saw, a CNC router, and a table saw and a drill. Uh, water will be provided to the workers on site. For our safety and concerns, the following safety items will be provided. Eye protection, ear protection, and gloves. And the adults will be the only ones to use the power tools. 
first aid kit will be on site. Um, so the cost per sign, for the first option, it would be a total of 448 for one sign. For option two, it would be 453 for one sign. And for option three, it would be $808 for one sign. And for option four, it would be $822. So for fundraising, my goal for fundraising would be at least $1,200. Um, how I will do that is I will solicit local businesses, uh, I will hold a cost to dinner if needed, and I will hold a bake sale if needed. Um, my final product will look something like that up there, which is a design that was made online. And it has the white posts, and the board is three layers, the color core sheet. So it's green, and then in the middle is white, and then on the other side is green. So what would happen is with the, the CNC router, we would cut out all the letters to the white uh, part of the sign so that the letters would be white, but the rest of the sign would be green. Uh, thank you for listening. Any questions? How many man hours do you actually have to put? Is there a requirement for a total number of man hours? You um, there is no requirement for man hours. Um, if you want to go with a dinner or outside churches, a, a bake sale, I'll be more than willing to get something going for you. Of Thank course, you. you'll have to go. All right, yes. Cameron, have you, have you spoken to anybody concerning the vinyl post and where you're getting the size you're looking for? Uh, repeat that one more time, please. As far as the vinyl sleeves going over the wooden posts, have you shopped around to see where you're getting these posts? Um, we're getting our like posts and stuff from Natural Lumber, because my uh, Dennis Baker is going to be supplying our stuff. Okay. So you'd be supplying our uh, the covers, you'd be supplying the posts, and you'd be supplying the caps. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you would like to come and see us over at North Smithfield Fence, I might be able to help you out with the post. Okay.